Copper and brass are good reflectors and therefore bad absorbers of infrared laser light. Their reflectivity though does not stay the same with the temperature, it changes with temperature. So therefore copper and brass are much more absorbent of the laser light when they are in the molten state. So with the right choice of the laser, optical setup and process parameters, you can quickly melt the surface of these metals and prevent the excessive amount of laser light back reflected and not being absorbed. Fiber lasers create really high power density on the surface of these reflective metals. The high power density causes rapid melting of the surface of these materials and therefore the process can quickly overcome the uh, reflectivity barriers and start a stable cutting process. At the piercing stage, the focus is on the surface. The full 3 kilowatt peak power in the pulse mode, about 100 hertz. For the cutting stage, uh, and but focus down about 06 below the surface of the material, and the laser is in the continuous wave mode or CW mode, and running it at 250 inches per minute or about 6.3 meters per minute. So you see. Uh, there is a, a little bit dark edge because of the using oxygen as the gas and there shouldn't be significant dross. In the piercing stage, the material is escapes the surface in a particulate form and the laser is in the pulse mode and drills through the thickness of the material and then it transitions to cutting for cutting to get the good quality, dross-free uh, edge, I need to focus down about four millimeter or 0.16 inch into the material. The cut quality should be uniform across the part and it should be smooth and dross-free as you see. The fiber laser systems like LaserCube, give the owners the advantage of reliable, high quality, high speed cutting of copper and brass parts. If customers would like more information about the LaserCube or any of our other products, they can go to our website, ipgphotonics.com.